Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be addressing an issue Windows 11 users or Windows 10 users may face, being connected to Wi-Fi but not having internet access. Don't worry, we've got you covered. We'll walk you through some simple steps to get you back online in no time. Let's dive in. There are several potential reasons why you might experience the issue of being connected to Wi-Fi but not having internet access on a Windows 11 system. Like here I'm connected to my Wi-Fi router but I can't access the internet. Troubleshooting these issues can involve a series of steps. And the exact solution may vary depending on the specific circumstances. But the steps I will show you here do work 99% of the time. Right-click on the Wi-Fi network symbol and open Network and Internet Settings. Next click on Advanced Network Settings. The Network Reset feature in Windows 11 is a powerful tool designed to help users troubleshoot and resolve network-related issues. When you perform a network reset, it essentially resets all network-related components and settings to their default values. Here's what it does. It removes and reinstalls all network adapters on your system. This can help if there are issues with the network adapter drivers or if they have become corrupted. It resets all network-related settings to their default configurations. This includes things like IP settings, DNS settings, and other network protocols. Sometimes it forgets all known Wi-Fi networks, meaning you'll have to reconnect to them as if it's the first time. It resets any custom firewall rules you may have set up. This can be especially useful if misconfigured firewall settings are causing connectivity problems. If your network was set as public which can have more restrictive settings, the network reset will revert it back to a private network. It may uninstall third-party VPN clients or virtual network drivers if they're causing conflict. It's important to note that performing a network reset should be used as a troubleshooting step for persistent network issues. You can skip to the next method if you don't want your network settings to be reset to the default. Although there are alternative methods for addressing network issues, we have discovered that resetting your network settings proves to be effective in numerous cases. Windows will shut down in 5 minutes so save all your work. When the computer reboots check if you are now connected to the internet. Another method you can use instead of resetting your adapters is this open the view network connections. Look for your Wi-Fi adapter and right click on it. Then go to Properties. Click on Internet Protocol version 4. Obtain an IP address and DNS should be selected if you use DHCP on your network. Someone might have used your computer and changed the IP addresses so make sure to check this part. Disable the Wi-Fi adapter and then enable it again so it picks up a new IP address from the Wi-Fi router. After doing this check if you are now connected to the internet. Before doing everything have shown you up to now make sure you have used another device like your phone or another computer to connect to the Wi-Fi router to check if internet is really there. Problem can be that your ISP is down. Also reboot the router and make sure all cables are connected if they are any cables. Sometimes the problem can be the ISP's DNS. Try changing the DNS IP addresses to the Google public DNS addresses and check if the internet is now there. Another method that is my favorite is to use the command line. So open a command line. This method is a bit technical and this is what the tech staff used to troubleshoot your network connectivity. 
The IP config is a command line utility in Windows operating systems. It is used to retrieve detailed information about the network configuration and settings of a computer. The term IP config stands for Internet Protocol Configuration. Running this command without any options in the command prompt will display basic information about the computer's network interfaces, including the IP version 4 and IP version 6 addresses, subnet masks, and default gateway. Look for the Wi Fi adapter and check the IP address and default gateway it has picked up. If the Wi Fi adapter has no IP addresses and it is just blank, then it means it has not picked up an IP address. You can use the following command to pick up an IP address or renew it. Also use this command. It clears the DNS resolver cache. This can be helpful if you're experiencing DNS resolution issues. You can also use the ping command to ping the default gateway that is shown under the Wi-Fi adapter if it has picked up an IP address. The ping command is used to test the reachability of a network device. If you are able to reach the router it means the network between your computer and the router is OK. The next thing is to ping an IP address on the internet to check if you are able to reach the internet. So I will ping Google if I get a reply then the internet is there. Since I have used the name Google.com it also means the DNS is working just fine. If you ping and you see this it means there is no internet or your DNS is not working try changing the DNS to the Google public DNS. It may also mean your ISP is down if you are able to ping the router but you can't ping any outside IP address or domain name. Before you start any of the steps in this video make sure to use another device like your phone or another computer. Connect to the router or Wi-Fi device and check if you are able to reach the internet. If you fail to reach the internet on all devices then the problem might be with the router. Try rebooting the router and check all the cables if they are any cables. The problem can also be that your ISP is down or you have not paid your subscription. And there you have it. Those are some of the most effective methods for fixing the Wi-Fi connected but no internet access issue on Windows 11. Remember, it's always a good idea to start with the simplest solutions and work your way up. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.